This question is from Ashok Kumar. Namaskaram Sadhguru. I want to know why this creation was created in the oh, first place. I didn't do it. <laughs> is he blaming me? And also why the one who is created is not even given the liberty to know the nature of its own existence. One who is created? Oh, created, not the creator, okay. <laughs> if there was no possibility of you knowing the nature of your own existence, why would I waste my life with you? Because if there was no possibility, what is the point? It doesn't matter what kind of a fool you are, still there is a possibility. That is why the effort. Otherwise, what's the point? This is what spiritual process means, that you have not written off any life because every life is a possibility. Somebody is like this, somebody is like this, somebody is like that, somebody looks stupid, somebody looks smart, it doesn't matter what society is making these judgments. But as a life, it has enough intelligence to exist. Because to exist, it needs a lot of intelligence. How many things are functioning? Not one or two things, a millions and millions of things are happening. If you have the intelligence to exist, you have the intelligence to know. But you are a little distracted. You who have not learnt how to harness your intelligence, so it's giving you a little headache. If you're getting a headache, when I say headache, not just the virus headache, I'm talking, yeah, in terms of, you know, something troubling you, that means you have enough intelligence to trouble yourself. If you know how to create a problem which does not exist, Tell me, creating something is more effortful and needs more s substance or not creating anything needs more substance? Obviously creating something, creating all these falsehoods in your mind takes a lot of intelligence and effort. But this is a way, if I give you a screwdriver to do some simple job here, you put it in your ears, you thought, it's a good way, it'll work for some time. And then you thought, that also you do. But then one day you eyeball something is happening. Well, you know, that's all that's happening to you. It may sound so ridiculous, but that's how ridiculous it is. That is all you're doing to yourself. Repeatedly I've been saying this, if we remove half your brain, you won't need any spirituality, you'll sit peacefully. Mouth may open a little bit, but what's the problem? But you will become peaceful. So your problem is not that you don't have enough intelligence to know, your problem is you have not harnessed it. So, why can't the Creator harness it also for me? How is this? <laughs> we gave you horse and we gave you two legs to ride on it. No, no, why can't you ride it for me? What is that? That you can do if you remain unborn. Creator will take care of everything. The source of creation takes care of everything if you're not here. Because you're here, you've been given a role to play. Even a little ant, this ant is a problem. Some people are commenting about my ant and human being example because 
Uh, <laughs> there are people who take examples literally. If I say an ant and an elephant, what is he talking? How are ant and elephant related? They're not the same species, what is he talking? <laughs> I didn't say they got married. <laughs> So, even if you take the smallest creature, there are… you know there are much smaller creatures than ant, there is a virus of course. But normally, in a language, ant means because it's a common thing everywhere. Maybe people who are living in apartments have not seen an ant, so they're thinking I'm talking about some creature. But otherwise, those who lived on this planet, ants are everywhere. So, a small little creature and you, if you look at it, and also wants to do his own thing in his own way. For whatever little brain he has, he wants to do his own thing. You is going somewhere, you block his way and see. I spent months trying to understand these ants. <laughs> and I was amazed at their intelligence and their sense of survival. How they manage things is quite incredible. And their traffic sense. <laughs> All the people in Bangalore, they need some ant training. <laughs> Simply they're going like this, nobody hits each other, Shhh, they're just going like this, okay? So I was so amazed, I spent so much time, you just put your hand there, he wants to go in his own way, he will not change his way and go away somewhere. He will like this, like this, like this, go and again come here and go. Because he wants to do his own thing. So this is the nature of life. Not only that, every one of the creature is… it's a magnanimity of creation. It's given you an individual experience. Just imagine, if you didn't have your neurological system, nothing. Most probably the virus doesn't have an individual experience because he doesn't have any neurological system. We do not know, but I am assuming maybe he does not have an individual experience. They are a collective existence probably. But we have individual experience. All of us came from the same soil, but we have individual experience as we sit here. This is not a small thing. This is a fundamental value of our life that we have an individual experience. When you have an individual experience, is it not your business to handle or to harness your intelligence to know? Do you have the needed intelligence to know? Absolutely, as I said, if you have the intelligence to exist, you have the intelligence to know. But uh, you're… because people have told you you will go to heaven, you are saving it to use it elsewhere. But we even burn your brains when we take you to the crematorium. At least in the Isha crematoriums, even the brains are burnt. So if you are saving it, to take it there and use it, now we'll burn it up here. There we don't know whether they'll give you a brain or not. Yes. Because here yours is not working, that is why you want to go somewhere else. It's time you make your body, brain, energy, work here to its fullest and hold it in your hands and direct it the way you want. Right now it's just spilling around. Your intelligence is just spilling around and causing havoc to yourself and to everybody around you, yes? So it's not that creation has not given you the means. Means are there, you must use it. If you're not using it, you're using it against yourself. Lockdown, lockdown, lockdown and you're poking yourself right now. If you really look at it, lockdown is the greatest thing that's happened to you in your life, if you ask me. Because six, eight weeks, when did anybody have a vacation like that? Oh, I can't go anywhere, that's not the point. You have time, how many things you could do? 
How many things you could do with yourself and what's around you, the people around you. Today I was talking to uh, some police officers, you know, it's a kind of a conversation. They were saying uh, even in Chennai, uh, the number of, uh, what is this, domestic violence cases are going up. Because you don't know how to be, you're beating up each other. Just nonsense. These are the people that you call your family, huh? <laughs> All the best <laughs> If this is how you manage your family, all the best for you. Your loved ones there, that's why they're tuppered. <laughs> your loved ones, you're smashing them up and this is your loved ones? Uh, then maybe mosquito also is your family. <laughs> Must be. That's why you keep slapping them. It's time you learn to deal with yourself. You got fifteen, sixteen days, lot of time. Please at least if you don't know anything else, at least do inner engineering online. Huh? At least learn to handle your thought and emotion. If you don't learn to handle your energy, which may take little more, at least your thought and emotion, the way you want it. If you don't do this, how do you expect your life to be worthwhile in any sense? Your only sense of worth is, you have uh, the gold medal I'm going to give you today. Your gold medal is uh, five hundred grams little heavier than somebody else's. You got five hundred grams more gold than the person next to you and you feel great. This is all the perversion that's been cultivated, unfortunately. It's time you learn how to handle your intelligence. Then everybody has enough intelligence to know how to live.